to the channel. I hope you guys had a great holiday, great new year. Um, it's been a good little bit since I've done any kind of videos here. You guys know me. I kind of, I kind of ebb and flow with it is what I always say. Um, I'm trying out some new lighting here and I feel like I'm on Star Trek or something where I've got it like right in my face. <laughs> so put in the comments if the lighting is okay. So today we're finally going to start our series of Papa's Picks. Now, I talked about this in December where, so I, my dad, Papa, to the grandkids, he went to the liquor store for me and picked out four beers, four singles. I have no idea what they are. And then he wrapped them in paper, okay, so I can't see the can, can't see the label or what style beer or anything that they are. So I just thought it'd be fun. I've never done a blind tasting um, like this. And I, as you guys know, I'm trying to improve my ability to assess beer, right? <laughs> so... Um, I've been using a tasting sheet. That's helped a lot. Um, and so I don't know. I think it's just going to be fun. I'm probably totally going to mess it up. Um, but who cares, right? Now, this is January. A lot of people are doing dry January. Um, I like my brother told me the other day that he and his wife are doing what they're calling moist <laughs> Saturday or Saturday, moist January. Uh, so it's not completely dry, but it's somewhere in between. Okay, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. So he's got one in red paper, one in pink paper. I've got a couple blues. Okay, blue is my favorite color. So I'm going to pick one of these. One's a little taller than the other. Let's. Oh, this one has a black pull tab. I don't know why that just made my decision, but this is going to be the one that we're going to do today. By the way, put in the comments if you guys are doing dry January or moist January or you're not doing it at all. <laughs> all right. So um, obviously I'm not going to open this. We'll get it poured and then we'll work through it and then we'll reveal and then I will look it up on the internet and, you know, come back and read some descriptions and we'll see how I did. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this one open here. By the way, it's been here in Colorado. It was negative 14 Fahrenheit yesterday. We've had like two or three days, three or four days of super, super cold. I've been out starting my Mini Cooper every four or five hours to make sure that the battery <laughs> survives. Uh, today, we're up to like 25 degrees, so we're having a heat wave now. All right, so I'm curious with that black tab, is that going to have a hint of, for the color. Let's see what we got. Oh, no, not at all. I was expecting it to be a dark beer just because of that black tab. I have no idea why, but. All right. Hey, the new lighting works well for the color. That's actually why I wanted to do it. But like I said, I feel like I'm in Star Trek, Star Trek mode here. So check out this color. It's kind of a nice amber. Let me look on my sheet. Yeah. Um, I would say just an amber, almost like a touch of red in there too. Yeah. And then when I look on my tasting sheet, um, I see on there the option of copper. I actually like that description because my first thought was amber, but then I said a little bit of red. So I think a nice copper color, um, you know, it has a nice head on it here. How do I do this here? And this is not a good indication because I have really tiny hands. So when I do this for the foam, it's not it's not as big as it looks all right let's uh give it a taste but first clarity wise i'd say medium it's a little hazy in there i'm trying to see if i can get that lighting to focus on there there we go all right let's give it a taste i lied let's check out the aroma first how does that sound <laughs> 
Boy, I'm not getting a whole, whole lot. Definitely malty. Uh, but I'm not smelling. Let me now, let me take a look on my sheet. Sometimes that helps me. I like to just do it first. Um, just very malty. Maybe slightly biscuity kind of a thing going on. So I'm thinking that it's not a very high hopped beer. Um, I don't know. Let's give it a try. All right. Cheers. Let's see what it tastes like. Definitely very, very malty beer. Not bitter at all. Um, and again, just like it kind of smelled, just kind of like a, like a light biscuit taste. And you can almost like feel the malt lingering on your tongue, you know? So I, I think the IBUs are probably going to be really low um, when we take a look at this. So I don't know. I'm going to go look it up and see. I'm trying to think, so what could that be? If it's really, really malty, maybe. So I had to go off camera for a minute and take a couple sips. Because it's hard for me to fly by the seat of my pants when I'm tasting beer. <laughs> so, um, but the more I think about it and the more I taste it, I'm wondering if it's not, it reminds me of a brown ale that I brew. Or maybe um, a dunkel that I used to brew. Um, but it's definitely, it's very, very sweet. Um, so let's go ahead and tear the paper off. Let's see what we got. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this in here. I do like that color. Like I said, kind of like a nice copper brown, copper color. All right, let's see what my dad picked out. I don't think I've had this before. I mean, not specifically. Ooh, a cool can. If I can ever... Thanks, Dad. I can't get it off now. There we go. All right, what do we have here? Check out the can. <laughs> uh, Dead Guy Ale. Rogue. Let's see. Carefully dedicated to the rogue in each of us. Let's see. Dead, Gale, Dead Guy Ale is a Maybach style ale with a, I've tried to read this, with a robust malt malt profile and a sweetness that is balanced by, sorry, the liberal use of bittering hops. So interesting. Sorry, it's it's reflective. <laughs> I really do read out loud better than that. <laughs> I just can't read it. Um, it says toffee. I could get that for sure. That's that sweetness. Malt, roast. I should have added that word in there. Roast, roasted. Uh, nutty. Yep, for sure. And then it says bitter, not bitter. Like this is very, very sweet to me. Um, <clears throat> 6.8% ABV IBUs are 40. That really surprises me. Like I said, I thought it was going to be more like a brown ale or something like that. It is not bitter at all. Maybe it's because it's just bittering hops. I don't know. So anyways, interesting can. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Brewed by Rogue Ales, um, Newport, Oregon. Okay. I might look them up on the internet real quick and see if I can get any more information. I'll be right back. So I went online, not a lot more information. Um, so it's Dead Guy Ale. This one's called Rogue. Uh, other than it just says, in the style of a German Maybach using our proprietary Pacman yeast, uh, Dead Guy is deep honey in color with a malty aroma and a rich, hearty flavor. So, you know, and the um, the carbonation is very, very soft on the tongue. And it's not boozy. What I say it was? Like 6.8? Doesn't taste like that at all. So I'm a little bit surprised um, because my box and Marzen's, I think, I believe, are very similar. 
Um, and those I really, really like as well, but they are much uh, hoppier, much more bitter to me than this. I'm really surprised that they were kind of comparing that to that. Now, with that being said, I really like this beer um, because I love multi beers. So um, definitely one that I would buy again, but I don't think I nailed it. I kind of nailed it a little bit on some of the, the taste uh, of it all. Um, but not what I was expecting uh, after I tasted it and then what I found out. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, next week, we'll open up another one and see what we find. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm out. Have a great one. Bye.